Good morning my lovelies and welcome to a very grey, a very overcast, a very nippy, slightly breezy Friday morning. I hope you're all well. Well, I don't know where the summer's gone lovelies. It's just, it just doesn't feel like July at all. It really doesn't. We had those three days where it was really hot and now it's gone back to this. Not that I'm moaning, but it would be nice to see a little bit of sunshine. So, talking from one big ball of fire in the sky to one bright and beautiful moon. Today, lovelies, we have a new moon in Cancer. So, what does this new moon in Cancer ask us? Ask of us. Um, so, I've done a bit of digging on the old internet, as one does, and this is what I've come up with. Um, so, today's new moon in Cancer calls for deep shadow work, embracing your vulnerabilities and learning from your deepest desires and wounds. It also invites you to seek comfort and embrace new beginnings, making space for what nourishes you and spiritually and emotionally. So today's new moon is asking us to, for us to embrace what makes us feel vulnerable and work with it. So, you take what makes you feel uneasy, uncomfortable, um, maybe a little bit of fear, and work with it. And try and convince yourself that it's not as bad as it is. I know there are times when you think, I can't do this. Yeah, it's a scary situation, my anxiety's through the roof, whatever. But you have to take the bull by the horn, so to speak, and hit the problem head on. Take it slowly, but work with it. And make sure that it doesn't leave you in, in a bit of a, a mess like it has done before when you've been in that situation. And it sort of paralyzed you, if you know what I mean. Um, It's asking us to learn from our deepest desires and the wounds. So in terms of wounds, if somebody's hurt you, some situations hurt you, um, and it's cut you very deep, don't sit on it, don't dwell on it, don't make it worse in your head. Sit with it, pack it up in a box, and put it away forever. Bury it. Don't keep going over the same thing over and over again because you're no, never, ever, ever going to move on otherwise. And our deepest desires as well. What is it that you most desire in life? Could be anything. Could be, an, I don't know, an expensive trip away. Um, Losing weight, wanting to find or go and see long lost family. Take that deepest desire, put a plan to it, a plan of action, work with it and make it come into fruition. Make it happen. If that's what you want most of all in the whole wide world, make it happen. It's also asking us to seek comfort and embrace new beginnings. Yes, new beginnings are very scary. We all do new beginnings, whether that's a change of job, a sh change of shift pattern in your job, a new manager, whatever. It's a new beginning and it's scary, but embrace it, work with it. Might not be as scary as you think. You don't know till you try. 
and asking us to make space for what nourishes us emotionally and physically. So, you know, if you feel like you're in a bit of a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, sort of stuck in a rut with your spirituality. Work with it. Find out what works for it. What find out what makes it tick. Find out what nourishes it, and work with it. And maybe you'll find that you're. Come here, you. Come here. Go. Wait. Oh, sweetie. Good girl. Bear with, lovelies. And maybe you'll find that your spirituality has a whole new look on life. Same as emotionally. Find out what it is that's upset you, who's upset you. Work with it. Try and find a reason and answer for it. And then, if that means you spend half an hour crying in a corner somewhere, do it. Do it because then you'll feel a lot better and a lot lighter afterwards. So, that's the new moon for Cancer. Now remember, lovelies, as with all moons, new moons especially, you can put your crystals out and you can do spell work. So, always remember, crystals in a jar just to keep them safe and pop them either in your garden or in, on a windowsill. Um, any intentional work that you want to do always remember if you're writing it and it's something you want pull it towards you or if it's something you want to banish from your life fold it away from you put it in a fireproof bowl set fire to it let it cool and let the wind take those notes to the moon and it's going to be like this tonight as well, lovely. It's going to be overcast. But don't worry, just because you won't be able to see the moon doesn't mean she's not working her magic. She is working her magic. So, that is July's new moon in Cancer. We're going to finish our walk off. It's Friday, the weekend's almost here. And I'm off to work. So... I hope you have an absolutely fabulous Friday. Um, do look after yourselves, lovelies. It's very, very important. Remember, if you're struggling, please reach out because there's always somebody there that will help you. Be kind. Look after one another. And if nothing else in this world, lovelies, please be kind because you don't know what that other person's going through that stood next to you. And from me and Miss Wu, we're sending you all much love and many blessings.